edge, running it down on these niggas. Uh-huh. Sex, drugs, money, and murder, my nigga. You know how we did it, my nigga. Uh-huh. Still be painting them bitches, my nigga. Ripping that roll over, fucking your bitches. Sex, drugs, money, and murder. 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 Niggas, they never go hurt you. Uh-huh. Niggas, they never go hurt you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sex, drugs, money, and murder. Uh-huh. Sex, drugs, uh-huh. money, and murder. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.
at yourself in the mirror and say, what the fuck, what the fuck am I doing? But you'll never get that type of perspective from a human being, an individual that just don't understand that. You know, so it is what it is, man. It's your boy, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Bullis Gotti. It's just sad that, you know, you see both of these dudes and look what we seeing, bro. Two dudes that had a mission and had a message and didn't stand for it. You know, the fame and the fame and the money changed them, you know? That is what it is. To be honest with you, I'm convinced Hassan and even Charleston White is just paid agents, my nigga, because there's no way that you have dudes that are self-destruct, be so hypocritical, and just go out their way to just not bring positivity to the conversation. Everything has to be negative. You know, I've never seen somebody, you have a platform, and I don't have a hate for Charles White. Right? I don't have a hate for nobody. But if you have a platform, right, and you use your platform in the right stance, and just in the right setting, and the conversation is more about enlightening your people and not with the nigga shit, not with the I'm more realer than you or I'll bust my gun or I'll buck you and I'll do all of this, right? And then in one minute, you're talking about bettering the youth and saving the youth. These guys are delusional. These guys are what you call Manchurian candidates. Um... You could just tell by the demeanor, it's nothing but Manchurian candidates thing. And just look, Charleston White crash and burn, you know, to now be in jail facing how many years? 21 years? They trying to get him for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon? He got two aggravated assault felonies on this case and animal cruelty, you know, especially in the state of Texas. They're not playing with that. You know what I'm saying? A black man being charged with animal cruelty. They're not playing with that. But a lot of these dudes love to pass judgment. Love to be self-righteous. Love to throw other black men in the bus. Try to shit on other black men. Instead of them uplifting and calling things out, they'll be, you know, and it's just like with her song, right? He'll throw Tory Lanez under the bus. He'll throw a Jonathan Majors under the bus. He'll throw this one under the bus, attack them, and slander their character. But don't be an open-minded individual. He's not an open-minded individual. You know, this is a dude that one minute he's against these rappers, but he want to be friends with these rappers, want to play gangster rap. He doesn't live in his truth. You know, how one minute you beefing with Mano and beefing with this one and beefing with that one and talking about this and talking about that. It's like the delusions. You know, and it's guys like that will basically brainwash people to believe that they're the truth. You know, a true leader, a true person that's that's really a, a leader. You know, he's going to stand for something. He's going to call everything out across the board. You can't flip flop with your message. Charleston White, he says some great things, but a lot of times he flip flop with his message. Hassan flip-flops with his message. A lot of you guys flip-flop with your message and we see what it is. Y'all are only here for the money. So you're no different than the conscious community. You're no different than none of these dudes because you're all in it for the money. And like they say, man, fame, something we all adore, something we're dying for. Selfish. Money and fame, that's all they want. People die for fame, people adore fame, and people want fame. And they will crash and burn just to get fame. Hassan and Charleston White is the perfect example of not being real prophets. They're false prophets. You know, Hassan just shows you what type of individual he is. As a man, you know, because he's searching for something and he wants it so bad that he'll he'll die for fame. You know, he'll go all out 
and go crazy for fame. And if he doesn't have the views and have the attention, he's, you know, he don't stand for anything. He hates on other people that has a message and getting more light than him. That's a hater. Hater on Charleston White. Hassan is the true definition of a hater. You're the true definition of a hater. You're not, you hating on Kanye, you're hating on Tory Lanez, you're hating on everybody. Everybody is stealing from you. Charleston White's stealing from you. This one's stealing from you. That one's stealing from you. You hate on so many people that you're the true, bona fide, true definition of a hater. You're not a person that has any loving bone in your body. You have a hating bone in your body. And you wake up miserable and you make, you're make waking up angry. How are you so angry and miserable and you're supposed to be somebody that has a message. You always mad about everything. That's not somebody that that's about building and, and edifying and building up his people. That's somebody that's like, damn, I want to be just like him. So I'm a hate. You going to hate? You going to hate? That's 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 crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy to me. I sit there and watch all his live shit. I'm like, damn, this dude is one of the biggest haters on this YouTube shit. Like, he's the true definition of a hater. Because I sat there and I, he did a live stream on Instagram. After he did his live stream last night, he went on Instagram. And he's having a conversation. And he's just hating on Kanye. Yo, Kanye sold his mother out. He went into the boule. He he opened, he went into that door, that lorry door. And uh, he can't fuck that white woman and all this, right? Right? But this is the same man that went on Vlad TV and said he would never go on Vlad. This is the same man that said all what he said about Vlad, but then gets on Vlad platform and he's googly-eyed, smiling, right? But this is the same man that'll hate. When other men is telling him, yo, that's not cool because that's a feminine trait. He's so feminized and he has that feminine trait about himself that he all he knows is to hate on other men. That's all he knows. It's not him calling out dudes as haters. It's him being a hater himself. And then he'll flip, he'll switch his tune and then he'll be one minute he's talking against the industry. Next minute he wants to be, he's a double agent. He's an agent of chaos. Not only that, he's an agent of chaos, but he's a hater. He's a miserable hater that's an agent of chaos. Hassan is a miserable person. He's an agent of chaos that's miserable. He's never happy. He doesn't like to be on platforms with people sharing other stages that's building. He can't do that. Because in his mind, he's a diva. So there's only one motherfucker that could be at the same stage. So... That's why I say, man, you got to watch Willis Prey, man. These dudes be divas. These dudes be haters, man. They don't stand for nothing. They fall for anything, and they have their supporters fall for anything. It's what it is.